name is Chef Dean, and welcome to Rainbow Chef Academy. Today we are going to make an Italian dessert called Zamgulani. Zamgulani is basically freshly whipped cream on top of berries. So, without further ado, let's get started! Before we get started, we want to make sure to go wash our hands. We want to rinse for 30 seconds under warm water and soap. Now that my hands are clean, we're now going to prep for our mise en place. Mise en place is French for everything in this place. So we're going to prepare all the measurements of our ingredients and get them all in place so that way we don't have to worry about getting one thing after another during our cooking. In my museum plus I have fresh berries which consist of raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries, sugar, cinnamon, vanilla extract, a lime, apple juice, heavy whipping cream, a hand mixer is a material that we will be using today, a spatula, a chef's knife, a medium sized bowl, our chef's board, cutting board, a tablespoon, and a liquid measuring cup. Hmm, are you wondering where you can get all these cool materials? Well, I have a tip for you. Here is our Rainbow Chef's backpack that consists of all the materials that we will be using for every recipe on this channel. If you would like to purchase one, go check out our website. To start our zabby yummy, we're going to start off with making our fresh whipped cream. So, we're going to grab our heavy dripping cream along with our liquid measuring cup. We're going to pour about one and a half cups in. And then we're going to pour it into our medium sized mixing bowl. You can use your spatula to empty it out. Now we're going to add in our sugar. This is about one third cup. From there, using our hand mixer, we're going to now blend some stiff peaks for them. Little chefs, if you need help, don't be afraid to ask your parents. So, without further ado, let's blend. While we're using our hand mixer, we are whipping a bunch of air into our cream, which makes it cream. You can also use a whisk or a hand whisk to mix your own whipped cream by hand, but it does take a little bit longer. Feel free to rotate the bowl to get all uh, around the bowl. Are you wondering what stiff peaks look like? Well, this is what it looks like. It's until the whipped cream can hold its form. Mmm, this looks so good. Now I'm going to give it a quick little mix with my spatula. From there, we're going to put this aside. Now that we put aside our whipped cream, we're going to now start slicing our berries. So, whenever we cut anything in the kitchen, we always want to make sure to hold the claw fingers. So that way we avoid cutting our fingers while using a sharp knife. While holding a knife as well, we would like to use the pinch grip. So if you use your pointer finger and your thumb, you're going to pinch the bottom half of the knife and the rest of your fingers, you can wiggle them around, are going to grab the handle. This is called the chef's pinch grip. Like I said, we're going to grab a strawberry and using our claw, tucking in all of our fingers just like this, we're going to hold our berries still so that way it's easier for us to cut. When cutting, we also want to use a wave motion so that way we go through all of our ingredients nice and smoothly. So we're going to lift, keeping the tip of the knife on the board. We're going to place the middle part of the knife on the strawberry and wave down. And there you have it, a nice sliced strawberry. I'll do this a few more times so you can do it with me. Using the claw grip again, wave motions, cutting our strawberry nice and thin. For the blackberries, we're simply gonna cut them in half, no need to slice them. So again, using the claw, wave motion and our pinch grip, nice and slowly slice down. There you go, there goes the blackberry. We're gonna do the same for the raspberry. Claw, pinch grip, wave, perfect. And our blueberries. Pinch grip, claw, wave motion. Perfect. And there you go. Continue this for the rest of your berries. Now that we've finished cutting our berries, I'm gonna to top it off with some lime juice. So I'm gonna grab our lime using our knife and slice it in half. Again, using our claw, our pinch grip, and slicing very slowly. Go free. From there, we're gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice on top of our berries, that way they don't get bad and they keep their gorgeous color. And now we're gonna put our berries inside. Next, we're gonna grab our freshly whipped whipped cream, along with our apple juice and our liquid measuring cup. We're gonna measure an exactly two thirds cup of apple juice. 
from there, we're going to slowly add little additions of the apple juice into our whipped cream. We're going to want to fold it in slowly, and I will go over what folding means in a second. So pour in a little bit of apple juice, stop, put to the side. To fold, we're going to grab a spatula with our overhand, just like this, in our bowl. We're going to go around the bowl and make a circle and fold right on top. So again, we're going to go around the bowl and on top around the bowl and on top. This is called folding. Keep adding apple juice until you run out. Folding allows the air to escape very slowly so that way our whipped cream still stays nice and fluffy and it still tastes just as good. Keep. I'm gonna keep adding. After adding the apple juice, we're gonna now add in our teaspoon of cinnamon. Go ahead and sprinkle this on top. This is gonna give our whipped cream and lace addition of flavor. And again, lightly fold it. Ooh, super pretty. It's like a cinnamon swirl. Fold until well combined. Perfect. Look at that. You can even see the little cinnamon speckles in it. So pretty. Now that we've finished both our whipped cream and our berries, we're now ready to plate. So I'm gonna grab my glass cup and I'm gonna start off with berries. So you can go ahead and grab your tablespoon and put in some of our berry mixture. Next, I'm going to grab our whipped cream I'm going to put about maybe two full spoons of whipped cream, maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to go with berries again, and whipped cream, and berries. And I'm going to keep doing this, layering them on top of each other until my glass is full. There you have it, a beautiful Zavillon. Thank you so much for joining me on Rainbow Steps Academy, and make sure to try out this recipe. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the videos down below. And again, thank you so much for joining. Hope to see you again soon. Ha, ha, ha.